Hi there. In this video, we'll start up Insight, read in some data, and make some graphs. I've put a data file on my desktop called Census at School 500. The desktop is an easy place to navigate to. The Insight installation process left two shortcuts on my desktop, one to Insight and the other to something called VIT. I start up Insight by double-clicking on its shortcut. OK, we're in. Just shift it a little. Next, I'm going to import that Census at School 500 data file from my desktop. So I go to File and Import Data. Use the File Browser, Open, and navigate to my data file. I'll go to the desktop. There it is, census at school500.csv. Click OK. Insight knows about in, uh, CSV files and can automatically recognize them from the CSV extension. So I can just click Import. And there's the data. The top row is the names of the variables and below is the data on each. Clicking View Variables just shows us the variable names. Clicking View Data Set gets us back to the spreadsheet view of the data. Now let's read in some data from the example data file stored inside Insight itself. I go to File and then Example Data. Under default, I see another copy of Census at School 500. But I'm going to look forward. Under the module drop-down, I see a folder called FutureLearn. Choosing that, and then looking inside, I see a whole lot of data sets. I'm going to choose the one called NHANES 1000. OK, and there's the data. So now we have data, what can we do with it? That's in the follow-on movies, but here's a taster. I can look at data on variables by dragging their names to these drop slots on the side. Dragging education to slot 1, gender to slot 2, and even race 3 to slot 3. Removing the variables. Under view variables, it works the same way. Treats in store. So please do come back to learn more about how all this works.